can't say, is he going chicken or is he going bird? He's going chicken. He's going chicken. Well, chicken's a form of bird. Chicken bird. It's a species of bird. Chicken, chicken versus turtle. Fun fact, chickens are one of the closest ancestors to the dinosaurs. One of the closest, uh, like, species to dinosaurs. Mm-hmm. So, in actuality, Blaziken could be considered a dinosaur. Facts. <laughs> Hard facts. All right. But Blastoise is water, and KFC <laughs> is fire. fire. So, <laughs> let's get into it. But Fumu knows how to play the zone game. Yeah, Fumu. Fumu kicking the soccer ball at him. But <laughs> the soccer ball comes back. Zanillite. It's push up against the wall. Tries with a rapid spin, but can't get out. Yep, that is not punishable if he does that attack. Setting up the w- water spout. And rapid spin again. Jumps over the water sp- water pulse. Mm-hmm. That's a lot of damage. Nice wall confirmed there. Not counting the face shift points, though. Eating a little bit of his own health. But he gets it right back with Sylveon. Not a- uh, oh, he is able to punish there. So now I really needs to pay attention when that's a good idea to use it. And when that's a good idea to use Trying to use that, trying to go to counter. Yeah, so Zanelli trying to press a lot of big buttons, trying to get a lot of damage off of that 6x, but not able to get it. Fumu jumping right over. He's playing a pretty big bait game, and I think Fumu is starting to figure it out now. Ooh, Dragon Pulse, huge damage. Yeah. Can do huge damage if he wants to. And the tracking on that for being such a large projectile is so good. Pushes it up against the wall, tries for the command grab. Fumu not having it, goes into burst. Ooh, but Yveltal coming out, this is going to hit. Gonna hit yeah. and this is going to actually take Fumu's burst opportunity away. Oh, he could have gotten that too. Right. Goes into 6x, it does work. He's too high up though, it's not going to work. Puts himself in the corner too, does get the grab though. Baits him with the 8y. Fumu has lost his burst attack. Shoot the finger guns at him. <laughs> the big finger guns. Tries for... Double rapid spin. Now Fumu not falling for it. Tries with the grab Ooh. again, but not gonna get it. That was a good grab attempt by Zanella, though. Fumu calls. Oh, the what? Trade. I actually traded. Wow, I've never, I've, I've never seen uh, Heat Wave lose up to a counter because usually it wins. Mm-hmm. Rapid spin, such a weird move to like. Nice adjustment there from Fumu, with. recognizing that he's mostly. Going for that up attack at the end of yep. his rapid spins. Tries to go for a 2x there. It doesn't work out for him, unfortunately. Ooh. Ooh. That was a, that's a pretty nasty 8x there. He gets <laughs> out of it. Oh, he brings it back down to Earth. There's a, nah, and you are not flying. Oh, man. Just the ballsiest grab attempts here coming out from Zanelli. but working out for him that time. Zanelli is doing super well on these risks. It's like he's actually playing Risk right now. <laughs> the board game. Tatsumaki Simbukin going in there. <laughs> Tatsumaki Simbukin. Going for the water, or water spell, but not getting it, but gets the 6x. And Trey goes for a little bit of damage. Goes and gets it again. That's such a, yeah, that's such a janky move. It's like, if you play, if your if your opponent plays in the air, that's such a good move in dual phase. I'm right, trying so, to approach. So Zanelli's trying to close it out here before Fumu gets burst. Yep. See if he's able to get it. Tries for, oh, oh. Can he actually downstance that? All those no, small so hands. it should be able to counter burst. Oh no! Nice confirmed by Rafumo and able to take Ooh. it. See, so Zanella just getting a little impatient. Got a little hasty, realizing that he had a little. It was really down to the mm-hmm. wire there. And other than eight Y, Blastoise doesn't have a lot of really good anti anti air options, especially yeah. especially right right on top of them. So yeah, it was good up close, but mm-hmm. it's always got. But he's getting. Uh, Fumu going and going for that air dash up to get away from Blastoise a little bit more and those big buttons, and then goes straight down with the Brave Bird. Yep. Uh, Brave Bird Flare Blades. And he needs to be using 8Y more, especially against Blaziken. And I like this like little fidgeting back and forth, and that's like, that <laughs> almost exactly what Blaziken is. He's just he's, this Twitch character that just really <laughs> rewards just the hyper play. Reminds me of Charty. Mm-hmm. He used to do that a lot. <laughs> Water Spout coming out. Soccer Ball getting Soccer kicked ball. out. Alright, here's a close swim. Trades each other. Usually that ends the phase too. Plus 16 after the water spout. Tries with a homing attack, not able to get it. Not able to get the counter attack. Try for the big button again, but it is safe. Alright, alright. Some good damage. Pushes him towards the wall. A little bit of chip with the water spout. Locking him out. Try, oh. Trying for the command grab again. Was that the command grab or was that just a counter? 
So he, he tried for the command grab. Ooh. Yep. So does have that hitbox right really above him. It. I always forget Waterfout actually is a pretty good like anti-air option right up next to him. It can be. Season so Knight once again sitting in a good position. Even with this defense buff too. Ooh, Rapid Spin ending it. Yeah, see, Fuma going for the fast enhanced version where he has his red armor sooner but didn't have enough health to live it. So he's now able to take the round. Yep. All right, all right. He's trying to beat those counters right now. I'm not I'm not seeing it work out much for him. I need. I feel like we need to see more Dragon Pulses than Dark Pulses. So he's now really run, not running that uh, zoning style of Blastoise. He's really getting in there, really mm -hmm. looking for those big buttons. That water spout, that water spout probably would have worked out for him. He's getting a lot of these tipper hits though. Brings him closer to him. Nice eight Y. There you go. Do some good damage, but Fumu having Sylveon gonna tank it pretty well. Yeah. Oh, Just I don't know what the grab. I don't know what that grab was. He probably thought oh. about. He probably thought he'd go for burst. He was gonna try and grab it to snuff it out. He will live through this though, thankfully. He will live. Blastoise has a ton of health. Barely though. We're gonna put him in the rage with 38 left. That rage is gonna help him out. Ooh, Fumu getting compressed buttons there. He's gonna stay in rage. Uh oh. This, match too. this is a lot of damage. Oh, he actually doesn't cap it out. Doesn't go for the optimal. Yep. That could have been so much damage. That, this is gonna this be. This is it. gonna be it. Yeah. Maybe. Yep. It is wow. gonna take it. So now I like taking game number two. And this is why we need a blast toys in our community. We don't like some of some of us just don't know how to work around this character because it's yeah. he's very slow. He doesn't have very good frame data, but. You let him do what he wants, he, he, he runs you over. I mean, I could be wrong. Yeah, so game number three here between these <laughs> two. So Fumu, yeah, getting caught pressing a lot of buttons. Uh, mm -hmm. and Zanelli, although very has a lot of slower frame data, when he does connect one of those, it does a lot of damage. And then Fumu circumventing that by actually taking some of his own health. All right. There you go. Zanelli opting for a little more zoning playing style. And play some more of those online strats, just spamming Dragon Pulse mm -hmm. in dual phase. Even in dual phase, it, you get away from him enough. Dragon Pulse is a very good move to use in dual phase. Fumu electing the end of space shift points early and goes for the grab. Yep. Rapid spin. Goes for another one. Mm -hmm. That was a very smart play there by Xenolite. See, Xenolite's putting himself. Ooh, there's a lot of damage. Xenolite puts himself in these 50 50 situations by just going for those. Oh, it goes underneath it. <laughs> How do you go underneath anything with, as Blastoise? It's kind of weird. Ooh. Ooh. Tried to break dance on him. Not sure what these all these two X's are, are for coming out as Zanillite. Probably because he's expecting that counter more now. Mm -hmm. So he's still last hit situation for both, and Zanillite oh, didn't want to take it. Fumo even having burst and not electing to use it. Yep. Maybe he's trying to save it as much as he can, mm -hmm. trying to like balance it out with Blastoise. His Blastoise's burst is super scary. Another rapid spin. If yeah, Fumu getting kind of eaten up by these rapid spins, spends his burst early, tries to get the advantage. Yep, that's a punish. Probably could have gone for something better, but... <laughs> going for the Blaze King grab meta. Dash up grab? Go. Nope. Oh, I was going to say. <laughs> see some... There we go, more grabs. See some light with Dave play here? And you can see just Fumu's synergy gauge, how much he has left. Good call by Xanolite there. Finger guns. <laughs> Into the big finger guns. Oh, oh yep. Even if he was like behind them, that, that autocorrect is too good. So now I, of course, able to live this with a little bit of synergy as well. But Fumu looking in a really good position yep. here. They're about 66 health left. Down go, to 24. Go, go, Power Rangers, able to get. Alright. <laughs> Xenolite one. really cannot afford a whiff here. Ooh. Ooh. He was able to tank it, actually, with the light armor. Oh, and he countered! But where's R? Come on, guys. Where's uh, your block? Where's your I've block? I've barely nope. seen any blocks, guys. No counters. It's all just counters here. Why would you counter against Blaziken? Yeah. <laughs> Except when you're doing that. Except when you're rapid spinning. <laughs> just rapid spins. But once, um, once again, game three, round three, coming out of these two players. Yep. Tries for the uh, Velta. I'm not going to hit it. I don't believe so, don't, anyway. I'm not nope. liking it at this timing. See, that could have been huge for Zanella if he was able to hit it. Yeah. Tried for number three, but Fumu getting out of there, going for the dive kick, pushes him up on the wall. It's quite a bit of damage, gets that attack down, mm -hmm. and the wall splat. Yep, Tatsu does go over, does go around that. 
He right. will get punished for this. Yeah, Fumu's gonna get a big punish off of that. He uses the Sylvie on the freeze the frames. Uh oh. Oh no! Puts up. But he lets it drop. A command counter. Yep. <laughs> yeah. He wants that command counter. Zanilite really is very telegraphed with it. And yeah. He really, it. when he really wants something, he's gonna do whatever he can for it, even dropping combos. Yeah. So he drop. He gets a, those high, really high wall splats quite yeah. often. But and I've told him you've got it. Like finish it out. Do another eight A. Hydro Come. pump. Put him up on the wall again. Hydro pump does major damage on the wall. But no, he elects. He elects to drop it. And he's like, oh, I'm going to hit him with the command grab. It's like, no, <laughs> it's not going to work. He still did well on, the, on most of the other matches he played. Yeah. Great. Really good reads there. Great on Sunil. I able to keep it really close there, but just kind of his panic options really showing there in his habits. So, mm -hmm. take it back to the lab. Yep. Try it again we'll next, we'll next time. 2-1. I don't know who we got next. 